Good afternoon. Um, before I begin, I would like to start with a cheerful round of applause for all of the mothers in the room. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, and without them, we're nothing, so. Welcome, and thank you for joining us this afternoon to honor and celebrate the class of 2018. To my fellow classmates, I'm honored to stand here and represent you. Congratulations on all your present and future success. I know there are a lot of people here who four years ago never thought they'd be here. So I'd like to congratulate all those who never thought you'd walk at graduation, who never thought you'd become anything. You're here today, you should be really proud of that. I'd be remiss if I did not thank all those that have helped me get to this point. First, I'd like to thank God, who makes all things possible. <laughs> to parents, family, friends, faculty, staff, and alumni, which is now us, and the greater St. Vincent community, thank you for your continuous support, trust, and prayers. We could not possibly be here without you. I'd personally be remiss if I did not take the opportunity to thank my parents and brother Zach. Thanks for making me who I am today. <laughs> St. Vincent provided us with more, than an ac with more than the academic degrees that we all just received today. St. Vincent provided us with a lifetime of fond memories, strong critical thinking skills, empathy, intentionality, and the toll to serve others. I can't even begin to describe the lifelong relationships I had with some of the best people I know. I can't even also describe the impact that this tiny school in Latrobe has had on my short life. But this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of something so beautifully designed and created by God. As we continue on this journey, we must look back and reflect on the things that St. Vincent provided us, what makes St. Vincent so unique, and how we can use those things to continue the path less traveled. The Benedictine tradition strongly influence our campus. We see this in many ways. We see it in friendly smiles, hellos, door openings, and as Brian said last year, when Patty uses a meal instead of flex. <laughs> we also see this when Tucker wags his tail as students flood the Cary Center after a busy day of finals. Shout out, Tucker. The role of St. Benedict fosters hallmarks that are woven within the fibers of this campus. Hallmarks that visitors and guests feel immediately as they enter this campus. St. Vincent provided us with the foundational work for a wholesome life. Values such as hospitality, community, love in Christ and neighbor will echo in our minds and our hearts as we journey through life. And on a more tangible note, St. Vincent provided us with a really awesome degree, something we all should be really proud of. There are numerous reasons, as you can see, that make St. Vincent so unique. The small class sizes, the beautiful campus, all the aspects that we have come to know and to love. I know Mitch mentioned this earlier, but as a tour guide, my favorite question to answer is, what's your favorite part about St. Vincent? Well, my favorite part about St. Vincent is also your favorite part about St. Vincent. It's the people. At St. Vincent, seemingly average people are empowered to do things beyond what they thought capable. It's the unsung heroes that make St. Vincent so special. We empower one another to be the best version of ourselves. We've cultivated a culture of unity, spirituality, integrity, and the most important of these, love. Love for school, love for future aspirations, love for one another, and love for self. As we heard today, I can really say that this is a kind campus, and I hope you continue that throughout your lives. Four years ago, I was like most of you high school seniors, very apprehensive of what the future would hold. For me, I didn't realize a piece of paper in the hat would provide me with one of the best things that happened to you and me. And I didn't realize that God was placing me somewhere I'd be challenged, stimulated, and enthused. And like you all, I didn't realize how this school would turn into my second home. The Benedictine hallmark of Conversatio comes to mind, shout out Dr. Crum, when I think of my time at St. Vincent, a trickier hallmark. It means to be transformed in every part of one's life so that God's own image becomes transparent and palpable. Whether you have realized it or not, we have grown throughout our time at St. Vincent College. 
We are better off now more than ever because of the education that St. Vincent provided us. The other day, I was taking pictures with DJ, and we saw the new entrance sign and noticed the word college was admitted. Omitted, excuse me. At first, I thought this was really strange, but uh, now I think it's perfectly symbolic of St. Vincent because St. Vincent's impact goes beyond just an education. St. Vincent's professors that care, it's custodial workers that know you by name, it's Bearcat Best, it's standing with love and community, whether in the classroom, on the sports field, or barely standing at Falbo's on Wednesday. St. <laughs> Vincent's tradition, from orientation and pod wars, to homecoming festivities and Founders Day, Sports Friendship Day, Spring Family Weekend, The Voice, Mr. SVC, and much, much more. St. Vincent's service, ranging from service learning to volunteer work by clubs and sports teams, St. Vincent is in you and I, and St. Vincent is that love of Christ. We all have so many cherished people and memories. I encourage all of you to appreciate the value of each moment, be loving, and be loved. I encourage you to be strong, powerful, confident alumni of St. Vincent College. And lastly, I encourage you to continue to be all that St. Vincent embodies. Thank you, congratulations, and God bless you in your future. Woo!